He is the cleaver of daybreak and has made the night for rest and the sun and moon for calculation. That is the determination of the exalted in might, the knowing. And it is he who placed for you the stars that you may be guided by them through the darknesses of the land and sea. We have detailed the signs for a people who know. Indeed, your Lord is Allah, who created the heavens and earth in six days and then established himself above the throne. He covers the night with the day, another night chasing it rapidly. And he created the sun, the moon, and the stars, subjected by his command. Unquestionably, his is the creation and the command. Blessed is Allah, Lord of the worlds. It is he who made the sun a shining light and the moon a derived light and determined for it phases, that you may know the number of years and account of time. Allah has not created this except in truth. He details the signs for a people who know. It is Allah who erected the heavens without pillars that you can see. Then he established himself above the throne and made subject the sun and the moon, each running its course for a specified term. He arranges each matter. He details the signs that you may, of the meeting with your Lord, be certain. And he subjected for you the sun and the moon, continuous in orbit, and subjected for you the night and the day. And we have placed within the heaven great stars and have beautified it for the observers. And he has subjected for you the night and day and the sun and moon, and the stars are subjected by his command. Indeed, in that are signs for a people who reason and landmarks, and by the stars they are also guided. And it is he who created the night and the day and the sun and the moon. All heavenly bodies in an orbit are swimming. Do you not see that to Allah prostrates whoever is in the heavens and whoever is on the earth, and the sun, the moon, the stars, the mountains, the trees, the moving creatures, and many of the people? But upon many the punishment has been justified, and he whom Allah humiliates, for him there is no bestower of honor. Indeed, Allah does what he wills. Do you not see that Allah has subjected to you whatever is on the earth and the ships which run through the sea by his command? And he restrains the sky from falling upon the earth unless by his permission. Indeed, Allah to the people is kind and merciful. Have you not considered your Lord, how he extends the shadow, and if he willed, he could have made it stationary? Then we made the sun for it an indication. Blessed is he who has placed in the sky great stars and placed therein a burning lamp and luminous moon. If you ask them, who created the heavens and earth and subjected the sun and the moon, they would surely say, Allah. Then how are they deluded? Do you not see that Allah causes the night to enter the day and causes the day to enter the night and has subjected the sun and the moon each running its course for a specified term, and that Allah, with whatever you do, is acquainted. Then do they not look at what is before them and what is behind them of the heaven and earth? If we should will, we could cause the earth to swallow them, or could let fall upon them fragments from the sky. Indeed, in that is a sign for every servant turning back to Allah. He causes the night to enter the day, and he causes the day to enter the night and has subjected the sun and the moon, each running its course for a specified term. That is Allah, your Lord. To him belongs sovereignty. And those whom you invoke other than him do not possess as much as the membrane of a date seed. Indeed, Allah holds the heavens and the earth, lest they cease. And if they should cease, no one could hold them in place after him. Indeed, he is forbearing and forgiving. And the sun runs on course toward its stopping point. That is the determination of the exalted in might, 
the knowing. And the moon, we have determined for it phases, until it returns appearing like the old date stalk. It is not allowable for the sun to reach the moon, nor does the night overtake the day, but each in an orbit is swimming. Lord of the heavens and the earth, and that between them, and Lord of the sun rises. Indeed, we have adorned the nearest heaven with an adornment of stars. And he cast a look at the stars. He created the heavens and earth in truth. He wraps the night over the day, and wraps the day over the night, and has subjected the sun and the moon, each running its course for a specified term. Unquestionably, he is the exalted in might, the perpetual forgiver. And he completed them as seven heavens within two days, and inspired in each heaven its command. And we adorned the nearest heaven with lamps and as protection. That is the determination of the exalted in might, the knowing. And of his signs are the night and day and the sun and moon. Do not prostrate to the sun or to the moon, but prostrate to Allah who created them, if it should be him that you worship. We did not create them except in truth, but most of them do not know. And Allah created the heavens and earth in truth, and so that every soul may be recompensed for what it has earned, and they will not be wronged. We did not create the heavens and earth, and what is between them, except in truth and for a specified term. But those who disbelieve, from that of which they are warned, are turning away by the heaven containing pathways, and that it is he who is the Lord of Sirius. The hour has come near, and the moon has split in two. The sun and the moon move by precise calculation. He is Lord of the two sunrises, and Lord of the two sunsets. He created the heavens and earth in truth, and formed you and perfected your forms, and to him is the final destination. And we have certainly beautified the nearest heaven with lamps, and have made from them what is thrown at the devils, and have prepared for them the punishment of the blaze. So I swear by the Lord of all risings and settings that indeed we are able, and made the moon therein a reflected light, and made the sun a burning lamp. No, by the moon, and made therein a burning lamp. By those angels who extract with violence, and by those who glide as if swimming, and those who race each other in a race, when the sun is wrapped up in darkness, and when the stars fall dispersing. So I swear by the retreating stars, those that run their courses and disappear. So I swear by the twilight glow, and by the moon when it becomes full, by the sky containing great stars. It is the piercing star, by the sky which returns rain, the sun and its brightness, by the moon when it follows it,